What is going on, Ben Nation? A lot of excitement that's getting ready to happen. Before we get to it, though, uh, we're going to have to go over a little bit of price action, and we're going to have to deal with the amount of time that it takes in order to get there. Now, we had a little bit of sell-off yesterday. Uh, you saw the price dip, but I would contend that once I show you the charts just a little bit, that you might get a different opinion about what's happening because uh, it, it's starting to look like uh, higher lows are being minted, if you will. And we're going to throw out some of the other stuff that we did on the chart and kind of look at this with uh, a new eye, if you will, and might see something different. Now, if you like this content, make sure that you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell to be notified of future content. And let's kick it off and check this thing out. So what we did see was this wedge sort of pattern here, the ascending wedge, and it broke out to the upside. Uh, that was a pretty good move. Now, let's uh, leave that right there, uh, but we're going to take this one off on the top. And now, let's see there. Um, so now we had this um, uh, growing channel here. We're going to throw that one out because uh, we don't need that one either. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this, uh, which is at the bottom over there. I'm going to start looking at this from this context right here. Now, not perfect, but as you can see, we we kind of uh, we're, we're kind of hitting uh, this this sort of upward facing channel. So if that's the case, then let's move that out just a little bit. Let's assume that uh, for the moment we found the bottom on that floor previously, and if we have the bottom on that floor, then it can reasonably be assumed at, at this point, uh, 5,011 being that low, that we're starting to mint newer highs now. In the event that we do that, then we have to come over here and we have to look at uh, what we've got going on on top. Now, uh, we could maybe make an argument here that we've wicked up here once, wicked up here a couple times, had a tiny little fake out, uh, came back down, tested the bottom, uh, would be indicative of another uh, decent move in this context right here. Maybe even a comeback for a retest here. Uh, but then a breakout towards that upside with that momentum happening. Now, the reason that I would say that that's happening and not, uh, let's wipe that out, and not this upward sort of channel that's going on right here is because I know there's something about to happen next week that will probably um, entice new eyes, new investors to come check out Bencoin because uh, there is a group, there is a something happening. And when you guys start to see it, you'll see an announcement in the next couple of days and you'll know uh, what it is at that time. But you also know uh, that that is a, a very passionate group of people that most probably uh, will take a vested interest in Ben and Ben coin. So um, you got this kind of playing out here. So I don't think that's the one. I think this um, this this longer term sort of trend over here is what's going to end up playing out. Um, it doesn't look, it's not perfect. Um, uh, but you know, let, well, if, if we can find the right spot and we, we I, I think if we need one more impulse move, if we get that big impulse move again and we can get a top somewhere around here, a little over six, that'll probably give me enough confirmation to have some confidence that this is the move, uh, playing out now. Um, I think that that's what's going on. So let's close this out with, I'm going to encourage you guys to go read. Uh, my post last night. If you haven't seen it, then uh, I, I, I want you to just do yourself a favor. D don't use me to tell you what to think. Don't use Ben to tell you what to think. Uh, just go to my thread. It's been shared by Ben, if you're not following me for any reason. Um, and you can read the two things that were filed, including the emergency receivership uh, that's uh, that was just done uh, over the last... Um, a little while. Um, so if you can do that and, and, and check this out, and I don't want to give you too much. I, I don't want to say too much, but, you know, if I don't order for emergency receivership uh, with Hit Networks and, and Discover Crypto um, and outlined a lot of the things that have only been kind of alleged here, but you can actually go read uh, a, a breakdown and a true history of what happened. Uh, you can uh, go see that uh, people who are making comments in my thread uh, who are talking about all of these things just had their cases dismissed as unfounded 
in the attempts to steal the company. Uh, you can then go find out for yourself that these people who are trying to tell you that they are the beacons of honesty are trying to cheat the system by um, buying comments and buying viewers to make it seem like people are paying attention to them when they're not. Uh, you can see all this. Um, you can see all this at work. Now, uh, what does that mean broadly? Um, well, we'll see what it means. Uh, it means that Ben Armstrong is going to be in the news. Um, in fact, if you uh, take the time, there is a thorough investigation uh, being done, and you should see something about that this weekend uh, as a big expose. And look, uh, you know, uh, about 20% of the article is uh, not going to be favorable uh, to Ben, but the other 80%. Uh, is an investigative amount of journalism that's been done to uh, by a reputable news source that's going to tell you a lot about what's been going on. And then you should have a little bit more clarity. And not only you, but everybody is going to have a little bit of clarity as to what's going on. Now, uh, that in the short term might mean a dunk on Ben Coin price, uh, but I don't think so. I think in the long term, however, this is going to be the validation that Ben Armstrong needs in order to take this thing to a whole new level of confidence. See how I give you that Pantera nod? All right, guys. Uh, so anyway, go go read this. Go check it out. I encourage you to do this. And I did copy. I uh, copied Altcoin Daily. Uh, I, I copied Crypto Crime Man Ran. Um, you know, the, the, the guy with the pump and dump that just happened, the SAVM or SVAM, whatever it was that he pumped and dumped and then said he didn't do it and blamed it on miles. Real scummy ran cryptos are us, um, Sam crypto lifer, um, Laura Lashin, Laura, Laura Shin, I'm sorry, uh, reporter crypto, um, uh, Jacqueline Melanick, uh, Nat Brunell, um, uh, whole bunch of different people. And we even copied in coffeezilla. Uh, so that he can start his little investigation and, and just kind of see what's uh, what's going on. So, um, in the meantime, it's not financial advice. My name is Blaze. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon.